Ooh, that's a nice red, boys. Let's go. Ooh. It's a chunky boy. It is, man. Ooh. Let's go. Dude, that, that's Josh. Hey. Try and grab it. <laughs> Ooh. 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 What is up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fish Again Milligan. Today, we're out here at the Arroyo with Captain Eli Sandoval and his buddy, Josh, we brought the ring in today. Josh is going to show us how it's done. So, really excited. We got our three JDs. We got our salty heads. We're ready to go. We're going to catch a few. It's uh, kind of a late start. It's about 11 o'clock. So, you know, at least we got to sleep in, eat our tacos and all that good stuff. But now it's time to go catch some fish. Let's go. Had a bite and it didn't connect. Just a little thump. All right, guys. So today's video is sponsored by Catchco. So we're going to be using some salt native lures today, and also, of course, my favorite 3JD. Uh, we're going to mix it up. We're going to use a little bit of both. Anyways, without further ado, let's get back to fishing. Red? Yeah, the fish, not the line. The fish, not the line. I got it. Underneath the gills. Dude, that's Josh. Hey. Giant crabby. Underneath the gills, bro. Underneath the gills. There you go. <laughs> How big is it? What, 20, 23? 2, 23? Yeah, he's, he's over 20. Yep. Dude, that fish caught you, man. <laughs> That's gonna be some funny footage. Oh. Rick Hall? Yeah. Oh, okay, man, you made a good cat. That was good How does that even happen? Where'd you have mine? They're gonna go in the plane, Collins. Collins? It's high tide right now, right? <laughs> I 
I'd say maybe another drift here would be okay. Right? We seem to, we seem to be pretty good fish. It's, like not it's not like we're not deep. catching. We can always run a little bit farther to the south and kind of start farther back. Yeah. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a follower. That's Roy's, that's Roy's uh, cousin, Ruben. Is that my actor to talk to? You gotta set it like you're angry. He's rolling that. That, there's a trout. There's a trout. Small. <laughs> hey, but it's my first trout, bro. Ever? Or the day? No, since the freeze. <laughs> Ever? All right, ladies and gentlemen, first trout for me since the freeze. It's good to see. It is very good to see. All right, guys, no trout were harmed making this video. I promise no trout were harmed and there he goes. Always wear your hat tight boys and girls. Always wear your hat tight. The savior. He's the savior of snapbacks, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Captain Eli. Vega rods. SpaceX. Oh. There we go. Three, four, there five, we go. There we go. Five, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Right at me. Ooh, that's a nice red, boys. Let's go. Oh, three. Oh my gosh, bro. Ooh, that's a nice red, boys. Let's go. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Let's go to the backside, boys. Shall we? Ooh. It's a chunky boy. It is, man. Right in the corner of the mouth, too. He took that salty head up in my head. Yeah, he did. Been too long. It's been too long, bro. <laughs> a little bit. Ooh, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. Try to bring up. Dude, what a picture, Josh. Let's see if we get some video of this. I'm getting a video. Let's go, dude. That is a nice one, bro. What fish. That's 25, right? 26? Yeah. Dang that it, guy. boy. Well, boys and girls, he, he never disappoints. Captain Eli Sandoval, once again, putting us on the redfish. We don't even gotta measure that bad boy because he's big. Because the other one was 23 and that one's got to be bigger than him. Nice, boys. I guess I'll give you a rod back now. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> I know you like that silly swim. I do, I do, I do. Alright, guys. Not going to lie. 
salty head 3.5 it's really hard to beat this brand new salty head the razor series in 3 16 that's the truth man you don't get any better than that and a big shout out to uh mega rods hooked up Kathy lee with a nice one and he has his name on it right it's here so i just caught it with that rod right there so go check out uh vega rods sweet stick to the lakes and the rivers that you used to tlc i just kind of wish it was on this because i'd love to see the line just Dude, but uh he that was pretty fun <laughs> he did dude hey, i felt that thing get warm he did shoot yeah, you'll you'll catch one on this next trip bro we'll get you one Another successful trip with Captain Eli Sandoval. Uh, brought his friend Josh today. This guy's a beast. The thing about us is that we grinded today. It was it was not easy. It was hard, but we came out with two reds, some small trout, but hey, at least we caught some trout. Just last time, did yeah. we catch any? Nope, man. It's been a grind to find these trout. We caught a lot of small trout today. It was good to, to see that the numbers are coming back already. Texas Parks and Wildlife is doing their part to try to conserve the trout, and uh, every trout that we catch, we just throw them back. We're only keeping reds right now and only keeping a few reds. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time, hopefully on the water. What is up guys? Here we are now in the kitchen. We cleaned the redfish and now we're about to cook the redfish. I got a super easy way to make black and redfish. Let's go. All you need is some redfish. You can use some blackened seasoning or go with the chupacabra blend and a little bit of butter and voila, throw the butter in, then throw in the fish on top of that. And it's got to be a super hot pan. <coughs> you ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning. Now flip the fish over, check it out. Oh, yes, sir. So number one thing about this recipe, if you think you've thrown enough butter in, Think again, you have not. If you think you've thrown enough seasoning on the fish, think again, you have not. A lot of blackening, a lot of butter, a lot of heat, and magic, baby. All right, guys, here we are at the table. We have the redfish and the tacos right here. We have cabbage, tomatoes, cheese. We even got this legit avocado salsa. Thank you so much to my wife for making that. And of course we have la coque and saddle. saddle. And here we go, redfish. Ooh, it looks nice. All right, tacos. Here we go, I'm not even gonna put anything on it, just redfish and taco, here we go. My, my. That's good. Be sure to try out this recipe, guys. Super good. Baby, what do you think? I love it. She loves it. The seasoning is really good. The seasoning is good. Thank you so much to those gringos for making chupacabra seasoning. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Your eyes going to look crazy. <laughs>